Well, this week was filled with major headlines both in the U.S. and abroad when America's Rachel Asenis takes us back through the top stories of the week in our Week in Review. This past week, the White House kicks off Made in America Week, and a senior senator is diagnosed with brain cancer. Also, from NFL Hall of Famer to parolee, O.J. Simpson wins his bid for freedom from a Nevada prison. Here's more on those stories and all the week's top headlines, in case you missed it. Buy American, hire American. The White House kicks off Made in America Week. I want to make a pledge to each and every one of you. No longer are we going to allow other countries to break the rules, steal our jobs, and drain our wealth. Also on Monday, a vote on the Senate Republican health care bill is delayed following Senator John McCain's surgery to remove a blood clot above his eye. And in Indiana, developments in a double murder. This case is not dried up. It's not a cold case. This, this case is still very active. Police release a new image of the suspect wanted for the February murders of two teenage girls in hopes of getting new leads. On Tuesday, a congressional committee grants U.S. residency to terminally ill British infant Charlie Gard and his parents so he can get experimental treatment for a rare genetic disorder. And abroad in Japan. <laughs> A renowned doctor credited with helping make Japan one of the longest lived countries in the world dies at 105 years old. Also, the Russian lawyer who met with Donald Trump Jr. last year says she's ready to testify before Congress. Natalia Veselnitskaya told Russian media RT Tuesday that she's willing to share everything she wanted to tell Trump Jr. if she receives legal guarantees. Midweek, one citizen, one vote. President Trump meets with his voter fraud commission for the first time, a group tasked with upholding the integrity of the ballot box. Also on Wednesday. We begin tonight with news that is hitting a lot of Americans very hard, including lawmakers in Washington, D.C. Their friend and colleague, Senator John McCain of Arizona, has been diagnosed with brain cancer. On Thursday, a superhero invasion in San Diego. Well, you know, it's downtown San Diego just transforms into this nerd fest and everyone is, loves it. The city loves it, uh, the, the nerds are happy, uh, the superheroes are happy, uh, and it's, it's just a lot of love. Thousands of sci-fi fans flock to Southern California for the highly anticipated Comic-Con International. Also that day, the president at the Pentagon. Tremendous people at the Pentagon. Nothing like it. The job they do, absolutely incredible. The commander in chief meets with senior military officials to be briefed on the fight against ISIS and the 16 year engagement in Afghanistan. Also, NFL Hall of Famer O.J. Simpson wins his bid for freedom. After spending nine years in prison for armed robbery, O.J. Simpson is granted parole. Thursday also marked 48 years since the first man walked on the moon. Airman from the planet Earth, first set foot upon the moon. And the rock music world loses it's one of its own. Park lead singer Chester Bennington is found dead in his Southern California home from an apparent suicide. Finally, on Friday, a deadly earthquake with a magnitude of 6.7 strikes the coast of Turkey and Greece. Also that day, Sean Spicer calls it quits. Sean Spicer is stepping down from his post as White House press secretary. Spicer announced his resignation this morning after President Trump's decision to appoint New York financier Anthony Scaramucci. And a new travel restriction for Americans. Citizens are barred from traveling in, through, or to North Korea due to growing concerns over the serious risk of arrest and long-term detention. And coming up in the week ahead, the president will hold a campaign-style rally in Ohio, and the House is expected to vote on funding for the proposed border wall. For One American News, I'm Rachel Sennis.